MacBook Pro 16 inch 2019 year cannot be activated. Recovery mode shows iCloud account if we do not know the account number and password and want to activate this MacBook. We can only reactivate our MacBook by replacing the security chip T2 on the motherboard. First, we removed the motherboard from the MacBook, found the T2 chip, prepared to remove the original T2 chip with an iCloud account, and replaced it with a clean T2 security chip without an account. Then use a heat gun to heat the T2 chip and remove the old chip with a count lock. The temperature of the air gun is 400 degrees and the wind speed is 110. After removing the T2 security chip with the account number, deal with the solder pads on the main board and use the tin suction tape to absorb the excess tin on the pad surface. Then plant balls on the T2 chip without an account. Here, use 270 degrees Celsius and a wind speed of 50 to heat the stencil. Observe the melting of the tin beads, and then wait for cooling. Add flux and solder oil to the T2 security chip to ensure the size of the tin beads on the chip surface. Uniform. Next. Place the T2 security chip with tin beads on the motherboard and perform alignment soldering to ensure that it is in the correct position. We usually solder the T2 chip. The temperature of the heat gun used is 380 and the wind speed is 80 to perform uniform heating. See that the flux at the bottom of the chip flows out from the surroundings evenly. When there are small bubbles, use tweezers to gently push the chip to produce a slight floating, indicating that the chip is successfully soldered. At this time, we can stop heating and wait for the chip temperature. Lower down and install the motherboard into the MacBook. At this time, the motherboard will enter the DFU mode by itself when it is powered on. We need to use Apple Configurator software for system recovery after the recovery is successful. Our MacBook will restart and enter the networking mode. We connect to the internet and wait to enter the activation interface of the installation system. Now it shows that the installation system interface has been successfully entered. The iCloud account is no longer displayed, and the MacBook is automatically activated. We started to install the system, about 20 minutes, the system is installed, we need to set the basic user information to log in to this MacBook. Now this MacBook has successfully cancelled the ICLOUD account.